Welcome to Pipe Tools. The Stethavon 04 is a compact, lightweight, very easy to use listening device. It's a tool for doing water leak detection surveys. It's a listening tool to um, listen to hydrants, pipes, valves. Plumbers can use it uh, for finding water leaks on services, diagnosing heating problems. A complete Stethophone kit comes with a Stethophone receiver that you see in my hand, a set of noise canceling headphones, Severn noise canceling headphones, contact tips, two contact tip extensions, an EM35 microphone. This microphone doubles as a ground microphone as well as a contact microphone. It's used along with a resonance plate to help capture sound. It also has a useful magnetic tip for connecting to, say, a fire hydrant. The complete kit also comes with a 46-inch extension rod for getting down on deeper valves to get into valve boxes that contain water and sludge. And it also comes with a carry bag, very nice carry bag. And lastly, a set of operating instructions. This is the Stethophone 04 receiver. Comes with a contact tip. And this makes it easier for us to do quick listening to hydrants, pipes, and valves. To turn the device on, we press and hold the on and off button. The battery strength comes on. In the center, you'll notice that there's a line and there's a break in that line. That break tells us the current level of the volume. If we press and hold the up button, you'll notice that the line moves across the screen, indicating that the volume in our headset is going up. Conversely, if we press the down button, you'll notice that the line comes uh, and, and over and it uh, lowers the volume in our headset. The number in the upper right hand corner is the current ambient noise. If we press the speaker button, you'll notice that there's an X through the speaker. And then we press that button again. <clears throat> this stethophone is taking an ambient noise reading on a scale of 0 to 999. If we press that button again, that number moves to the bottom right hand corner. This is, becomes particularly helpful in pinpointing leaks and it's also help, very helpful in doing survey work. So once again, we press the button, noise is going through our headphones, press it again and we turn off that noise. The other nice thing about the stethophone is you have filtering capability. If we press and we hold the filtering button, you'll notice that on the screen, the uh, filter is, uh, setting is blinking off and on. We can scroll through the filter settings by pressing the up button and it takes us to another filter. Press it again, it goes to an additional filter. To reset the filter button, we press the, the filter key again and you'll notice that the filter number has stopped blinking on the screen. For more information on filtering, uh, there is a complete list of all the filters located in uh, the operating instructions. The other nice part about the stethophone is that uh, it has automatic hearing protection. So if we have the, pl uh, the headphones plugged in and we're listening to a particular pipe and maybe our hand would slip on a uh, on a pipe or on a water hydrant, 
um, the headphones will automatically cut out eliminating all the bad noise that would uh, go through your headset. It's a way of protecting your hearing. The Stethophone kit also comes with a versatile contact microphone. We call it an EM35 microphone. This can be uh, used as a ground mic or a contact mic. So the contact tips can screw onto the base of the EM35 microphone and we can use it to listen to hydrants and pipes. This microphone can also double as a ground microphone by screwing on the resonance plate. The M35 has a Kevlar reinforced cable that allows us to lift and place on the ground to, at listening points. Another interesting accessory is the magnetic tip. We can place this on the bottom of the M35 and it's particularly useful for listening to fire hydrants and fire hydrant bodies. The complete kit also comes with a 46 inch extension rod. The extension rod is meant to be used with this EM35 and it's particularly useful for getting down on valves that are filled with water, listening to deep water services. And it's pointed on the end so it helps you get down into the and through the dirt and the muck and the mire that might have built up in the bottom of the valves. To use this microphone, we'll just put on the magnetic tip for now. To use this microphone, we just plug this in to the accessory port on the side of the device. It's clearly marked. We don't have to turn anything on. The unit comes on by itself. And as you can uh, see, uh, the device turned on by itself. All the other controls work the same, with the exception of the filter button. Uh, the filtering range on the EM35 is less than the contact tip. For more information about the filter button, I would refer you to the owner's manual. To change the battery in the device, we turn it over and you'll notice that there is a battery compartment with uh, two uh, special screws. And if we take a screwdriver, or in some cases, a, just a coin, and we turn it a quarter turn. The screws are spring-loaded and they pop up and the cover comes off. The device takes two AA batteries and you'll notice that the polarity on both sides is pointing in the same direction. It's important to pay attention to the polarity and make sure the batteries are placed in the compartment correctly. Then we reinstall the cover, just a quarter turn or so, and that completes changing the battery. The Stethophone 04 uh, comes with wired headphones. There is also a version called the SDR version, or Severin Digital Radio version, that comes with wireless headphones. The Severin SDR requires a Stethophone 04 unit that has the Severin digital radio module in it. And you'll notice that there is a special sticker on the device that signifies that this is a Severin digital radio unit meant to be used with wireless headphones. The wireless headphones are particularly helpful for uh, folks that do a lot of leak detection work in that the, the wire does not get in the way of your listening. To turn the uh, device on, we press and hold the button on the side of the uh, headphones. You'll notice that a green button, uh, a green light comes, becomes visible. And then we press and turn on the on button. and we get noise through the headset.
turn it off, just press and hold. To turn your headset off, just press and hold. These obviously have to be charged. The unit comes with an M4 adapter that we can plug in and uh, let charge for approximately an hour. You'll notice when it is charging that a, a red light will appear on the headphones. This unit also comes with a car charging adapter so that if you uh, start the day and your headphones are running low on power, you can plug them into the cigarette lighter on your car. This concludes the video of the Severin Stethophone 04. Thank you for joining us today.